Welcome to my lesson. Today we want to look at uh, the food production, preservation of cereals and pearls, as known as the pearls are known as uh, legumes. Agriculture and nutrition, grade five. Welcome to my lesson. We look at the food required to preserve, to retain the quality for the for a long period of time. So, food preservation is a process or a technique used to to maintain food in good con condition to avoid the spoilage. The cereals are a major source of carbohydrate, which is the the source of energy. A cereals is a member of a uh, grass family cultivated for food. The cereals are grains used for food. So that's uh, the, about the cereals. Let's talk about the, the parsley, which is the legumes. The parsley are edible as seeds that grow inside the pot. The parsley, also known as legume. Also, we say parsley are the major source of uh, protein. Let's look at examples. Examples of the cereals and parsley. We have rice, millet, maize, sorghum, wheat, berry, finger, millet. Those are examples of cereals that we have tried for today. Let's look at the cereals. Uh, sorry, the parts which is the legumes. We have beans, we have cowpeas, green gram, French rhythm, uh, sorry, French beans, uh, ground nuts, peas, and the soya, uh, and the soya beans. Now let's look at the various methods that we use to preserve the these cereals and parsley. We use the traditional ones and the modern. Uh, we have smoking, drying, salting, use use of honey or sugar, uh, use of wood ash, use of low temperature. In the modern, we can use the freezing or refrigeration, or canning, drying, uh, use of low uh, temperature. The various methods uh, were applied uh, to to preserve to preserve the the cereals and palsy. They have used the the sun drying. Sun drying is whereby you put uh, you spread you spread all the the cereals and palsy under the sun. Uh, you left them to dry. The reason why we dry them want to remove the the moisture from the cereals and palsy. We use the wood ash. The wood ash are filled in a in a pot. You you make a, a hole. You dig a hole. Then you put the the pot inside. Then you put the cereals and or parsley. Then you cover them with the ash. This will prevent entry uh, of the power of the the pest into the pot. Use of chemicals. Obvious. The chemicals are used to kill the they kill the all the pests. Remember the chemicals are, are what are poisonous, so you should be careful after after preserving the your cereals and parsley. Make sure you use your hand, you wash your hands clearly, you clean, use uh, fresh water, use uh, and the soap. Remember the chemicals are expensive. Use airtight container. Let's uh, let's now look at what we have mentioned. Use of uh, use of containers can use uh, use containers here you can use contain you use the use the pot put the pot put the the inside the the ash inside then you can uh, you can sun dry you can use the chemical this is the chemical then use of uh, air a uh, titan container say importance let's look at the various importance the importance of preserving and storing the cereals and parsley. They are go bad easily sometimes. So it is important to preserve the cereals and parsley because it makes them last for long. It saves the money. It prevents them from getting spoiled. It avoids or reduces the wastage. It makes the seasonal cereals and parsley available throughout the, the year. It decreases the dietary inadequacy to retain the nutrients in food. It ensures they are ready, available throughout the when they are they are needed, or prevent them getting spoiled. I've said up to keep them for for future uh, for future use. Now let's look at some of the equipment uh, that we can use to store to preserve 
uh, to preserve the the cereals we can here we can use the uh, silos the silos are the bigger companies like uh, the cereal and board in Kenya here they use to store the various uh, seeds and parsley can use the sack can use hermetic bag this is the hermetic bag can use the sack can use granary can use port as we have said can use the air air tight container you can also use the plastic you can use the box you can use anything that will help you to preserve the the cereals use of granary a granary is a storehouse for safe storage of uh, the cereals and palsy it is raised and protect to pre, uh, protected to prevent co contact with the moisture or pests to enter into the uh, the, the granary we have uh, a hermetic bag hermetic bag uh, hermetic bag is a uh, hermetic bag have uh, two layers it's a bag that is a sack that has two layers one outer bag which is made from the nylon nylon sack and inner part which which is made from the polythene the hermetic bag are air tightened to prevent entry of moisture and the pest if the pest will be inside because it will be closed it might die it will not be able to destroy our cereals our cereals and the parsley the bag can be reusable for so many seasons let's go to use of silos the silos are the large container or storage equipment used preservation of cereals and palsy they are mainly used in a larger scale production cereals are uh, raised to prevent the contact with the moisture and entry of paste they are also specious and preserve the large amount of the cereals and and uh, and palsy let's look at some of the the safety measures you should observe when preserving the cereals and the palsy use the the dust mask to prevent inhaling the dust from the cereals and the parsley. Ensure the proper light, uh, lighting and ventilation during the preservation and the storage process. Ensure the storage equipment and materials are clean. Use the right amount of the chemical if you use chemical. Wash your hands after handling the chemicals used to preserve cereal and parsley. Make sure when preserving, when when preserving cereals and parsley, we should observe the proper hygiene. That is very important. This will prevent the spread of the the various mm -hmm, the various diseases. Now uh, let's uh, look at the the various characteristic the various characteristic of uh, of of storage. The, the following are characteristic of, uh, of good storage facilities. They should be have rodent uh, uh, rodent guard or protector to prevent the entry of the pest like rats and other pests. The rays to prevent entry of moisture. Have a proper fitting uh, uh, proper uh, uh, proper fitting uh, doors. I'm talking about uh, here I'm talking about uh, those proper fitting doors uh, make sure have no gap between the wall and and the roof to keep away the pest now this is the rodent I'm talking about here is the is the rodent here he is the rodent you can see you can see them here these are the rodent that I'm talking about on this uh, uh, granary now we've come to the end of our lesson. Please keep on uh, supporting us. Subscribe, share to your friends. Let them uh, get this information before any other person.